Hello, hello, welcome. Video, this is video number two for Sprout Social. There's so much good information on Sprout Social that we wanted to make sure we captured everything and more so on the reporting. Uh, reporting on Sprout Social is one of my favorite tools to use for this. Um, you can get a lot of great information. And so when we go into this tab here and we click on it, we will be taken to this area. And in this area, you have a lot of different uh, pieces of data. So you have sent messages, you have Twitter followers, you have interactions, you have unique users and impressions. One thing you want to look at here that uh, helps you to understand why certain things happen is that if you look down on the impressions on one day, November 5th, 2014 I had 36,000 impressions now the reason being is you can see it's directly related towards the number of interactions I actually had so I had 22 interactions and it shows you a breakdown down here of five Twitter retweets and 17 mentions and because of that that led to 36 impressions Now impressions are being seen by other people it's a pretty big number. I was seen by 36 people, 36,000 people by making 22 interactions. So do you think that you think that making more interactions helps your reach and being seen more and potentially growing your following? I would say so, especially off of these stats. So that helps pretty significantly. Uh, another thing here is that you have the demographics. So we we saw this in the first uh, interface that it showed the males versus females. It will also show you how many new followers you had, links clicked, mentions, retweets. And this is all, if we look at the top, it's all on 15 days. You can spread it out to 30 days, 60, 90. You can even go and customize it. And then you can export the information as well. So we go down here, we can see the daily engagements. Again, on the fifth, we had more engagements and mentions and retweets. Um, you can see it changes every single day. Great stuff. You can connect your Facebook page. You can also can connect your Google Analytics. The Google Analytics is definitely important because it allows you to see that when you're driving traffic back to from Twitter back to your website, you can see that that interaction. You can also see some of this um, demographic data and if it holds true to both your um, Google Analytics, the website traffic versus your Twitter traffic. So we jump on the left-hand side here on the bar. We're going to go down, excuse me, to some of these other reports. So we click on the engagement report, and I, I quite honestly, I have really don't know what they're trying to accomplish here. Um, the one thing I will say is that they do mention the response rate here, and it's a pretty big distinction. Um, I think, and I'm, I'm going out here on the limb, just thinking off the top of my head, the reason why they would have this on here, especially for some larger organizations, to show how fast they're actually replying to tweets that are being sent out, that they're mentioned in, or they're talked about. And so, um, you know, there's response time, and there's, you know, responses, and they show these different, this uh, different uh, map and this graph. And so this will help probably people who want to be responsive pretty significantly um, or who are who are being um, mentioned um, on a consistent basis. This will help show if they're actually responding quicker. And this also shows the days of the time, that the response time is, and so on and so forth. So it shows that there's a little bit more. Uh, in all honesty, this Wednesday, that's like Twitter chat Wednesday so you can see why the response rate is up higher and the response time is down lower uh, I'm just on there talking interacting with people more so so that's that's the reasoning for that something you want to keep in mind too uh, you can use this for different purposes I don't see the big need for it but it can help some other people as well you have a team report. if you have other team members on here you can see you can set points like I said this is a great tool uh, for kind of project management for your social media activities with uh, with multiple team members We also have the Twitter profile. So now what you can do is you can go on here and you can see um, More about you so new followers in the last 30 days. I had hundred nineteen new followers um, You I follow uh, 743 I had 16 direct messages mentions mention uh, messages sent messages received by this messages they mean tweets uh, clicks retweets direct messages sent so you can see the numbers here it'll help you out uh, this is a good one to keep an 
Um, keep in mind, Twitter behavior too, conversation versus updates, new context versus existing. This helps as well to see if you're if you're balancing out. So if you could see that this is a pretty good balance. I'm having 60% of my con my Twitter behavior, tweeting behavior is conversation versus 41% is updates. And that's that's actually a pretty good number. You do want to be having conversations more so than just updating. Um, so the 60-40 is, is a good number to shoot for. So something to keep in mind when you're doing that and, and a great way to pull this reports together. Um, all right, trends reports here. So you can see um, things that are being mentioned, how you're being pulled up. And there might be that these are going to these are going to change. For instance, Chipotle. Reason I was mentioned in Chipotle had a uh, in the last 30 days. I was in a chat that we were talking about Taco Bell and Chipotle got pulled into that that conversation quite a bit. And these are the hashtags. These are the chats that I participate in. So you can see that uh, in brand chat, that was the one that actually had the conversation about Taco Bell and Chipotle was pulled in. So that's the one that's at the top. I have buffer chat, mobile chat, so some of these other chats that I do uh, dabble in uh, every week or so, and that helps quite a bit. So you can see, again, if you can break it down, if you're doing some of this information, um, you can break it down to see what, uh, how your, your mentions, how they're broken up, and where you should be spending your time. That's really where you pull this information is, where you should be spending time, who you should be talking to. Um, that's, that's the trend reports here. Now, if we go over the Twitter comparison, if you have, let's say you are comparing yourself. So I did this for an example. I added uh, a friend of mine that I met over Twitter. Her name, his name is Brian Fonzo. Goes by iSocialFonz. Great guy. Um, does a phenomenal job on Twitter. Is really building up his community there. We have a little different um, philosophies per se as far as growing our communities but he does a great job of providing really valuable information I like him a lot so I, I just wanted to put it in here and do a little comparison uh, for example and so you can see here you can plug in um, either people or brands or somebody you want to compare yourself or your brand to and you can see what they're doing versus what you're doing and maybe find out some patterns here that you can improve upon. And then the last thing here are the sent messages. So you can see how the sent mes messages are going. Um, really powerful stuff. So uh, th here you go. There are your reports. Uh, some good information you could pull out of here. Um, as I talked about, reporting is a, is a unique thing that you want to use on Twitter. You want to get certain information. We'll talk about more reports with Google Analytics and with analytics within Twitter itself. Um, these, there's good information in here, but uh, I wouldn't say solely use it just for the reports. There's so many other functions. You really have to find out and test it yourself to see what's going to work for you and what's not. So there you go, Sprout Social. For me, two thumbs up. Uh, recommendations, how to use it, discovery tool, reports, publishing. Um, also, if you have a bigger team, maybe a couple people, this is a great tool to be able to collaborate on and to get the max amount of um, uh, results from your Twitter and social media activities in general. So there you go. I put my stamp on approval on Sprout Social.